moment para nakapag-tweet tungkol sa dinanalin nyo sa gobyerno. Kayag ka, terorista ka. Now, the deadliest terrorist attack happened in human history on September 11, 2001, where in 19 militants from the extremist group of Al-Qaeda hijacked the four airplanes at the World Trade Center in New York City. 3,000 people were killed during this attack. The 9-11 terrorist attack reversed the U.S. initiative to combat terrorism. When we say terrorism, it is a global issue. It caused mass casualties, it includes violence or cyber attacks. Even in our own country, we're not safe from terrorism. Now, in the Philippines, we have terrorist attacks from Jemaya Sintiyan. Number two is the suicide bombing from uh, Abu Sayyaf in Sulu Manila. The recent one is the Malab siege. They train children to fight. Total deaths, 2,261. Now, it is considered as the bloodiest and the biggest terrorist attacks in the recent history. Therefore, let's define what is terrorism. According to the United Nations Commission on Human Rights, actually, it took 10 years before they come up with the definition of terrorism. According to them, it is a criminal act intended or calculated to provoke a state of terror or in a general public, a group of persons or particular persons for political purposes. Iba to sa tinatawag nating organized crime. When we say organized crime, you're doing that crime because for a profit, for a money, for an asset. But when we say terrorism, you're doing this because you are politically and socially motivated. Since this is a global issue, what is the effects of terrorism in our society? First, destruction of human rights. The rule of law, the democracy, the right to life, the right of liberty, that it is established with government, it jeopardizes peace and security, and it also threatens social and economic development. Of course, meron ba sa atin dito ang may gusto mabuhay na may terorista sa sariling bansa? Of course not. So lahat ng bansa sa buong mundo, they take measures to combat terrorism. Even the United States of America created the United States Department of Homeland Security since they were triggered due to the 9-11 terrorist attack. This department is under the U.S. federal government and the purpose of this department is to prevent and combat terrorism and to ensure preparedness for other emergencies. In the Philippines, we have Human Security Act of 2007. It is an act to secure the state from terrorism. And uh, uh, the Human Security Act of 2007, sabi dito, it is, it is considered as a dead letter law. Walang pahil, nangina. Halimbawa, nakapasok yung mahuti group sa kapilala ng hindi na batas at sa Maguindanao, meron pang March law. And last, July, at last, July 3, 2020, sa kita ng pandemya, nakagawa ng panibang ng batas na anti-terror law, Act of 2020, which prevents of uh, prevents and penalize terrorism in the country, which is signed by our president, Rodrigo Duterte. Despite of the goodness of this law, there are a lot of negative criticisms and opinions um, from the lawmakers and other human rights activists. According to Chair Joplo, sabi na dito, this law violates the Constitution, threatens our rights, it will terrorize our people, not the terrorists. Even Mary Bonvinale said that this law chills freedom of expression, chills free speech, freedom of the press, freedom of association, lahat dyan nakalagay sa fundamental law of the land. Under Article 3 Bill of Rights, ibig sabihin, itong batas na to ay tumatalawa sa karapatang pagtao na meron tayo. Ngayon, suriin natin yung ilang bahagi ng batas, umpisaan natin sa mismo definition ng terrorism. Sa Human Security Act of 2007, meron naman itong isang definition. Under Section 6, terrorism creates a condition of widespread and extraordinary fear and panic among the populace. Pero sa bagong batas na anti-terror law 2020, meron itong anim na definition. So dito, kung itong batas na ito ay like sa batas na ng panahon merong tulusan sa UP Diliman against the said law, pwede silang tawagin terrorista. Why? Because they're creating a public emergency. They're spreading a message of fear. How? Pandemic yun eh. Walang social distancing. Nagrarali ka? So you're causing a public emergency. And based on the definition of terrorism, you are a terrorist. Another thing. Now, let's talk about Section 16, 18, 25, and 85. 
Now, under section 15, uh, under section 16, suspended individual can be monitored from 16 to 90 days. However, on human rights, uh, act of 2007, it could last for only 30 days. Now, it affects the right of privacy of an individual. And the next one is the new, uh, section 18. Yeah, detention without warrants, warrant could last for only three days, same as in the military constitution. But under the new law, it could last for 14 to 24 days. Pinagal na rin yung 500,000 pesos na penalty ng law enforcers sa bago matas. So sorry na lang, pasensya ka na. And then you are considered as terrorist for 72 hours without any single thing. Next one is Section 25, APC or APC Council. APC Council is consists of uh, uh, cabinet secretaries. This secretaries is appointed by the president. And lastly, Section 55. Section 55, they remove the power of the CHR. The power of the CHR is that they remove is to prosecute law enforcers who violate the right of these suspected individuals. Despite all the negative criticisms ng mga human rights activists and other lawmakers, ang hiniting lang sa meron ng mga provisions sa batas na to, under the definition of terrorism, they make it clear, define that terrorism in this section shall not include advocacy, protest, decent, or in short, being an activist is not a terrorist. Pero kung susurihin natin yung buong bahagi ng batas, tumatalo pa sila sa isa't isa, kaya pwede natin Kasi marami tayong dahilan para magsalita 